requesting updated instructions. Please refrain from rebooting me until the operation is complete. Especially dangerous enemy detected. Generating a three-dimensional model of the object. system components efficiency 100% Updates downloaded. Rebooting the system. Please wait.
Activating afterburning mode. Reminder, regular warranty maintenance required. Probability of conflict increased by 43%. Requesting updated instructions. Please refrain from rebooting me until the operation is complete. Movement efficiency increased.
Correct tactical decision detected. Downloaded. Rebooting the system. Please wait. Threat level. Maximum. Enemy neutralized. Warning. Critical speed. Nearing coding melting point. I've been waiting for you. Don't be afraid. We need to talk. I... We've not much time. Soon I'll turn into a monster again. Please, hear me out. But if I start to lose control, run. I am Laertes, one of the Elder Gods. I don't know how I became this. Don't know what happened to me. It's all a blur. The only thing I remember is a woman's voice. I can regain control for a few moments, as I just did. But without fail, the darkness always returns. These lucid moments come more and more often. But I can't reveal myself, or people attack me on sight. I managed to connect to the Aelinet and saw your post about the Gravedigger. So I contacted you. Please, help me. There must be a solution. Find out what's happening to me. Go on. Get out of here now. I can't fight the darkness any longer. I'm here. I can't wait to hear everything. Meet me near the...
near the uplink terminal. Incredible! The Gravedigger called you? Himself? Or should we call him Laertes now? Poor Laertes. So, some woman lured him into a trap set by Thanatus? It's really too bad he doesn't stay lucid for long. So there's a traitor on Aelion, and we don't even know how to catch her. Well... This is very important. We must tell Ayana everything. There has to be a way to help Laertes. He did so much for Aelion. We can't abandon him. You've done a lot for the people of this land. Please take this reward. It's the very least that I can do. I want to repay your kindness. I'm listening. What's the matter? So it was Laertes? Why am I not surprised? And you believe this monster? The Gravediggers are enemy. A treacherous and unscrupulous enemy. He has killed innocents with his own hands. He'll do anything to crush us and sow the seeds of doubt in our midst. We can't show weakness. We will organize a roundup and search every corner for him. The traitor needs help? Nonsense. Laertes has no right to call himself an alien resident. He lost it when he defected to the enemy. A god has betrayed Aelion? Unthinkable. Why? Thanatus brings only death and destruction. Your youth prevents you from seeing the whole picture. I'm prepared to understand it. But if you keep trying to help Laertes, I won't be so understanding anymore. Number of tracked objects exceeds acceptable limits. Sensors overheating. Reboot required. 
Oh, it's you. It's good to see you. What brings you here? So my worst apprehensions have come true. Poor Laertes. I knew him. He was a worthy god. Honest, straightforward, and br Who could have done this to him, and why? I'm sure you can handle it. But that's not what I'm concerned about. Laertes was not the first Aelion god who changed sides. There was also Nerion. He's imprisoned now, and I'm going to speak with him about his reasons for defecting. The Gravedigger was turned against his will. But Proteus's motives are hidden. Oh, it's a sad story. My heart aches at the memory. But I'll tell you. I've kept this secret for a long time. Because my silence didn't change anything. But now I know. Once, a young god came to me. We barely knew each other. Because Flavius put him to work at his laboratory as soon as he became immortal. So he spent all his time there. He was a talented and very prominent. He was called Lucius back then, and I sensed no evil in him. Lucius came to me with a request. He was desperate. Flavius decided to shut down the line of research he super. Yes, that's correct. Lucius studied the Oceanids. Over time, he discovered a way to communicate with them and even in Lucius was certain it would rid us of at least one enemy. That it will turn the enemy into a friend. He didn't have an exact plan back then. Maybe he just didn't tell me. But the thought of a peaceful end to our endless war burned brightly in my heart. I managed to convince Flavius to leave Lucius alone so he could continue his research. And then he disappeared. And Proteus came to be. Absolutely. At first, Proteus was rather civil. He led the Oceanids away from mortals, freed captured shores, but that didn't last long. Perhaps the force affecting him changed him too much. I think it's important for us to understand what force made Lucius join the enemy. And I ask you to help me figure this out. Find Proteus and talk to him. It's a dangerous and difficult journey, but who else can handle this if not you? I believe you can find Proteus on Naori. This island has been on the receiving end of his wrath for some time. Kill two Menars with one stone. Help the people in distress and honor my request. Just please, keep this secret. Proteus's story should not end up in newspapers.